Good evening and welcome to the Timberdome. Michael Rose here ready to rock and roll. Game two of district play. This time the Lady Lions from Leander High School are in the Timberdome tonight. So glad you could be with us. I want to give a shout out to Rosie Bega, our QA tonight, along with Sunavent Cat and Robert Fan, all the folks at Vipe Live. And of course, this broadcast is not possible without the support and the encouragement and the everything else of our wonderful, wonderful Cedar Park Lady Timberwolves Booster Club. Some strange man just came and wrote Molly Lee's last name phonetically on my paper. Like I've never... I don't get it. Anyways, wow, that was weird and uncalled for. Uh, anyways, thank you. Uh, anyway, I'm just, wow. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I had a, la last season, the <laughs> Cedar Park Lady Timberwolves won it all. 5A state champions. What a ride it was. And the whole season co with COVID and everything else going on, Donnie and I never really had time or, or had the opportunity to get together and do an interview. The previous three seasons, Donnie and I met every game, just chatted for a little bit. They call me his good luck charm, but we just kind of got used to that superstition. So for the first time in over a season, I have the privilege of speaking with Coach Donnie Ott, and I want to share the interview with you right now. Michael Rose here with Coach Donnie Ott. Together again for the first time. Took a little bit of a break. Had a, a lot go on and a season ago, but this season, some new personnel, some new new leadership but the uh, same goal and the same vision continues and it's a it's great to have you back uh, with us great for us to be back with you i should say and so it's looking forward to things came into the district season uh went to marble falls a couple nights ago got your first w in district play but before that some major tournaments and some major accomplishments um something you were looking forward to but uh would love to hear about your point of view on what's gone on this season as you get into this district play. Yeah, you know, this season was a lot about finding out our new roles and, uh, and uh, the new makeup of the roster. You know, we lost three amazing seniors last year, and, and two of them played so much for us. So we had to really try to fill some roles, and this uh, preseason was great because we played some really amazing competition. Uh, you know, Duncanville, Summer Creek, San Antonio Johnson, Westlake, Austin High, Steele, you know, uh, the Colorado State Champions, Grandview. Uh, so it was just quite quite the schedule. And through that whole gauntlet of games, uh, we found some success. And we found some kids that really started latching on to their roles. And it's kind of set us up for a good run here in the district. Uh, we had a good game against Marble. Started off a little slow. We've been off a little while. Um, and we just kind of were not really figuring our way out of um, – trying to find ways to score when the ball is not going through the net, like get some defensive turnovers and some easy buckets. Uh, but we started to do that in the third quarter and really opened up the game uh, for us. And so I feel really good about the way we're, we're the space that we're in right now, the mental uh, capacity and the makeup of our kids right now. So I'm uh, looking forward to tonight's game against Leander. From what I can fathom, what I've seen, I got to go to a couple of tournament games and then, of course, being in Marble Falls is that physicality is probably the new – new terminology in, in this sport that I haven't seen in a long time in the fact that these young ladies who you play are gunning for you, not just on the scoreboard, but physically. So there's a lot of mental wherewithal from your players to overcome the pushing and the shoving and the being knocked down kind of mentality. Yeah, no, you're right, Mike. It's been a very um, physical schedule. Um, they've um, come at us in, in waves and um, you know, we've played multiple different styles, which has been good for us. And uh, I think that that's allowed us to, to be ready for a big test when, when needed. And, you know, our district will pose some opportunities. And we've got some real good teams in our district. So hopefully we'll be ready for those challenges as they come, you know, based upon the preseason that we played. Well, the, every, every player, every person has come up big time and overcome those physicalities and just literally watch them take a deep breath or just pause a second, assess the floor or where they're at. 
and then drive the basket or, or make the pass or whatever they need to do. So, again, just goes to the teaching and learning. So you put these players in a, in a good spot, and they've also learned how to put themselves in a better spot. So yeah. I think that's pretty darn <laughs> pretty darn awesome looking forward. So. It's been fun, yeah, and we're really looking forward to it. So hopefully we can go out and put another good performance together again tonight. Right, well, I appreciate your time, and best of luck, and we'll talk to you soon. No problem. Thank you, Mike. All appreciate right. it. Coach Donnie out with Cedar Park Lady Timberwolves. We'll be back right after this. Hey, high schoolers. Are you interested in a career in sports media? Vibe can help. Launched in 2017, our Vipe U Ambassador Program is a -a one-of-a-kind educational scholarship program that offers high school students a chance to gain hands-on experience in the sports media field. Vipe U also gives students a platform to build their portfolio of creative work under the guidance of Vipe's seasoned professionals. From covering games to publishing photos, writing articles, and conducting on-camera interviews, each Vipe U ambassador receives an immersive experience geared toward their interests while promoting their own school and preparing them for their future. Email info at vipemedia.com to find out more about Vipe U today. Welcome back to the Timberdome. Michael Rose here with is a nice crowd on hand tonight. It's about a minute to go here before this basketball game begins. I want to give you a chance right now to meet the 21-22 Lady Timberwolves. Here we go. Molly Lee, number zero, and I'm a junior. Elaine King, number 10, I'm a senior. Isabel Peters, number 15, and I'm a sophomore. Gisela Mall, number 21, and I'm a junior. Megan Woods, number 22, and I'm a senior. Reese Prater Merrill, number 31, and I'm a senior. Anna Miner, number 33, and I'm a junior. Alyssa Flanagan, number 40, and I'm a senior. Shelby Hayes, number 44, and I'm a senior. Angie Sackville, number 50, and I'm a senior. There they are, the 21-22 Lady Timberwolves ready to make another run for it. 1-0 in district play, 17-0 overall on the season. Again, repeating, uh, defending I should say, 5A state champions. Leander Lyons coming to town, Coach Bradley Weiss on hand. Appreciate his help in getting things lined up here tonight. But ready to turn it over to the, little, to the man, the not-so-much myth, and the absolute legend. Our public address announcer for Timberwolves Athletics, Mr. Brad Cohn. Getting the books straight and straighten out right now, so we'll give him a second to get things going. It's good to have everybody on hand. Appreciate those people involved with the Cedar Park Timberwolves Booster Club. You can hear the clapping from... Clapping from the bench of Leander. So they're getting things squared away. Again, Rosie Bega is our QA tonight. And I really want to thank Sooner Van Camp for getting us all set up in regards to uh, getting this broadcast on the air here on the internet tonight. Again, Vipe Live is who we are, is where you can find us. We're bringing you all of the seasons. District play and uh, playoff run, however far that takes us. Looking forward to it. And, of course, a shout-out to everyone in Tennessee, Larry Hayes, Shelby's dad. And, Larry, you probably already already got uh, things squared away, but I just sent you the longest link I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, it says not sent. Never mind. Why is it so long? Why does it do this? Why am I not so good at sending electronic things? The world may never know. You just heard my brain. Good evening, everyone. Welcome Here we go. To Brad Cone, ladies and gentlemen. Show on wood. Tonight, Texas High School Women's Basketball. Cedar Park Timberwolves, Leander Lyons, the District 25 5A matchup. A reminder here that the UIL and LISD tolerate no abusive language directed to players, coaches, or officials. Violators are subject to immediate removal from the facility. Cedar Park Games broadcast live worldwide on the Vipe Network. Mike Rose with a call, www.vipelive.com. Lions and Leander here, 0-1 in district play, defending state champion Timberwolves 1-0. and 
ranked number one. And now will you please rise for our national anthem. <laughs> Season Donnie Ott, assisted by Tammy Williams and Taylor around Rebecca Zabel Brewer. Let's go. There you go, folks. The man did not so much miss, and the absolute legend, Mr. Brad Cohn. <laughs> thank you, Rosie. Thank you, Suna. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Coach Ott, for sitting down with me tonight glad to be able to be glad to have him and be able to get back together with donnie and and he's very much willing to give it a shot we're going to try and bring you an interview every time we uh, broadcast here from the timberdome we might not always not always get you on the uh get you on the road but uh we'll definitely have a chance to uh visit with a player to post game uh if and when that comes to fruition so with that about ready to get things going here tonight. Starters four. Brad, who's number 15? For us? No, for them. That's the main thing. You don't want a technical for that. All right. All right, number 15 is Keon Easley tipping off against Lane King. Light to him into the hands of the cell. So handed off to Molly. Molly swinging around. They're going to my right here. I'm sitting at the press, press table, scores table. Right between the benches here at the Timberdome. Shelby Hayes baseline makes a move. Up and under, goes up. Off the grass, rolls in and out. No good. Loose ball, rebounded by Allen. And Sacco underneath. Sacco gets the foul. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Lady Timberwolves off to a frenetic start. On the Lions, 33, Gia Mitchell, her first, Gia Mitchell first, with team, the first team foul. Angie Sacco with the loss. Okay, the starters, number two, Hope Edwards, number 11, Parker Bradley, number 15, 
Ken Easley, number 21, Samantha Beck, and number 33, Gia Mitchell. First free throw for Miss Angie Sacco is good. Two nothing, maybe Wolves on top, second one drops in. Maybe Wolves with a two nothing lead, 7.40 to go. Just into the first quarter, welcome to the Timberdome. Again, Michael Rose along with Rosie Bega, your broadcast team for Lady Timberwolves basketball here on Vipe Live tonight. Baseline loose ball gets away off the hands of number 33, Gia Mitchell. Timberwolves basketball. Still inside, Shelby puts a shoulder in, goes baseline. Loose ball rebounded by Elaine King, tipped out of bounds off the hands of number 11, Parker Bradley. Timberwolves will inbound it on the far sideline. Molly Lee set the inbound on the basketball. Number four for the Lady Lions checking in. Gisela on the far side wing makes a move. Baseline goes up off the glass and it's good. And a the basket. G going to the line to shoot the old fashioned three point play. Four nothing, Lady Wolves on top. All right, Hank. Line, line. Foul on Cedar Park 50, Andrew Sacco over first, first team foul. Go, 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 go. Just Parker, all the way through, all the way through, all the way through. Yeah. Bucket underneath for the Lady Lions. Three for Hope Edwards. Actually, that's a three-pointer, I beg your pardon. G made that three-point, or uh, the free throw for the three-point play. Inside pass, Shelby. All the numbers that Coach Reese gave me are off. Tried to get that squared away. And Shelby goes up again, gets his own rebound, puts it up and in. 7-3 to three the score. Let me update the scoreboard for you all right here on Vibe Live. 7-3. Good Lord. There we go. Hope Edwards to easily back up Edwards. Skip pass for three on the way off the back. Good. ball. Good, Gio. Good up by Gia Mitchell underneath. And Jisaka there to... Wrestle it away, Gio! jump ball. You gotta go up, baby. Go shoot that. Let's go. Three, three, three. Three. Easily gets the inbounds play underneath. You gotta go. with the rebound. Pushes up the floor, goes coast to coast, puts it up off the glass, no good. Loose ball. Loose ball, and then a foul called. Offensive. Nope, it's not. Second, second team Okay. So it is six to three, I guess G missed the free throw. There's no other way to explain it. All right. Um, steal by Elaine King underneath. Sorry for the erratic broadcast here. Just trying to get things straight because given one set of information and then it's not even close to right. So I have to scramble and I get a little out of sorts. Thank you. Selby makes a move, kicks it out. Yeah. That's the foul underneath. Oh, a three-second call, never mind. So Shelby called with a three-second violation in the paint. Inbounds pass. Go, take it down, take it out. Nelly Thompson outlets easily, stolen away by Shelby. Shelby outlets near side. G, G, three-pointer from the near side wing on the way. It's good. Three, G, ball. Go, 
Nine to three, the score. Lady yes. Wolves on top. Yes. Ball stolen away by Megan Woods. Megan going up the far side. Inside pass, GG off the glass with that left hand from the right side. And he's got five straight points for the Lady Wolves. It's 11 to three. Easily to the far side, there's Nellie Thompson. Thompson back up top. Hope Edwards, three-pointer on the way, no good. Rebounded by Megan get Woods. Up, Megan up. hands off to Molly Lee. Molly will push the floor, come up the middle. Gets across the half-court stripe. Pull things back. Reese Prater, Merrill in the game. Has the ball on the near side wing. Swinging around to G on the far side. Mall dribble drive. Has a free open lane all the way to the basket. Two lays it up and in. Timeout on the floor for Leander. 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here. Lady Wolves on top, 13 to 3, up by 10 here with 4.10 to go here in first quarter. Next action for the Lady Timberwolves is coming Tuesday afternoon at Liberty Hill. School's out, so tip-off is 12.30. Next home game next year, Tuesday, January 4th, 6.15 right here against Glenn. Quick timeout, you maybe heard what Brad said. Next home game in at Liberty Hill on Tuesday afternoon, 12:30 tip. Winter break has begun. Happy holidays, everybody. Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Christmas, whatever you celebrate. We got ourselves a full moon even tomorrow night. So if you are looking at the energy or in whatever it is you look to, all kinds of good things going on. So. Looking for a towel. There's a shirt. There's a shirt now. now there's a shirt. <laughs> a little bit of spillage on the Leander bench. <laughs> <laughs> scared. You getting scared scared me. <laughs> oh, I love this sport. Inbounds pass. Easily with it, back to Edwards. Edwards will push the floor, far side. Now comes back to the middle, good pressure D by the Lady Wolves. They get across the half-court stretch. Edwards goes into traffic and an offensive foul. As she barrels into two defenders. Reese Prater Merrill and Shelby Hayes right there to take the blow from Edwards' shoulder. Molly Lee will push the floor. 356, 355 now to go in the first quarter. Lady Wolves up by 10. 13 to 3, G Mall. Pass from Megan Woods near side for three on the way. It's good. Three G Mall. Sixteen to three. G with unofficially with 12 points here in the first quarter. Easily with it. Skips the pass across. Edwards now gets across the half court strike. Push up the far sideline. Goes baseline. Pulls the back. Good defense by Megan Woods. Easily gets the ball tipped in the air. Gives it over. Set it. Zaga, Zaga, Zaga. Now to Samantha Zaga. Beck. Beck pulls Zaga. it back. Guarded by Go. G. G forces the pass over to the far side. Parker Bradley. Dribble drive. Three-pointer on the way. Off the glass. The ball's backwards. Megan Woods with the rebound. No call on that one as Parker Bradley hit the floor after the shot. Ball knocked out of the air. It's going to stay with the Lady Wolves. Here Coach Ott shouting the offensive in or the inbounds play. Molly Lee will go to the far sideline. And she'll toss it in. 3.01 to go here in the first quarter. 16 to 3 is the score. Lady Wolves on top. Megan Woods gets the inbounds pass. Top of the key. Swing it to the far side. G. G pump fakes. Gets inside. Reese Pater Merrill. Reese makes a move up and under. Off the glass and in. Reese Pater Merrill. Big bucket for the Lady Wolves. They're up 18 to 3. Bradley over to Edwards. Edwards streaking down the far sideline. Into the paint, makes a move off the glass. Too much on it, no good. Ball loose. Who's going to get it? Megan Woods comes up with loose ball. She'll push the floor. Megan goes to the left. Uses that left hand. Scoop off the glass. No good. Reese Prater Merrill gets the rebound, puts it up off the glass. She's the shot's, her shot is blocked, and it'll be Lady Lions basketball as it goes out of bounds with 2.24 to go. Elaine King checking back in. Shelby Hayes will take a seat. Elaine King, Megan Woods, G. Maul, Molly Lee, and Reese Bader Merrill in the game for the Lady Wolves. 2.21 to go. 
Edwards coming up to the near side. East Pater Merrill. On the defense, good pass easily gets the cross court pass over on the far side. Thompson now swinging around. Red, Bradley. red, red, Bradley. red, red, red. Go, 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 Parker go, Bradley go. The far Steal side. It. Past the top of the screen, the top of the key, I beg your pardon. Thompson scoots it over to the far side. Back up top, Bradley. Now Thompson swings around to Edwards. Hope Edwards with the basketball. Hope coming near side. Now going back to the far side wing. Go through, Passes go through. it to Nelly. Nelly Thompson with the basketball. Next move. G tips it out of the air. Steals it. Pushes the floor. Goes coast to coast. Lays it up and in. Oh, sorry. It's not 118. I wish it was. It is 20 to 3. The score here at the Timberdome. I'm surprised Merle Bertrand didn't text me about two minutes ago to tell me the scoreboard is off. Three-pointer on the way for Nelly Thompson. Off the front iron, no good. to sell them all with the rebound. G's pushing the floor. Once again, coast to coast, lays it up and in. 22 to 3 the score. I'm running out of room on my score sheet for G's box here in the first quarter. Edwards over to Bradley. Bradley's cross-court pass out of the hands. Gabby Edo was there, but thrown away by Elaine King. And G. Maul lays it up off the glass. 24 to three, the score here. 43 seconds to go in quarter number one. Loose ball, G. Dodds on the floor. Still loose ball and a foul called. Loose ball, foul called. Megan, Megan Woods. Thirteen. Thirty-seven seconds. Nelly Thompson brings it up across the half-court stretch. Thompson goes to the near side. Hope Edwards with it on the wing. Skip across now. Tilia Perkins back to Edwards. Swing it around now. Thompson. Thompson with it comes near side. Back up top. There's Mitchell. Mitchell over to Perkins. Perkins double drive baseline. And the scoop no good. Foul called on Isabel Peters. Lady Lions to shoot two. First free throw on the way off the back iron. No good. Twenty-four three with fifteen one five seconds to go here in the first quarter. Lady Wolves on top. Second free throw on the way. That one drops in. Pass up the far side. G for three. It's good. Oh my goodness! I can't even change the scoreboard before we got to change it again. Twenty-seven to four. Two seconds. One second. Now let it go. End of the first quarter. End of the first quarter. Peter Park 27. Lady Timbrough's 27. Lady Lions 4. We'll take a quick break. Come back for the second quarter. You're listening to Lady Timberwolves basketball right here in Viper Live. We'll be right back. Hey, high schoolers. Are you interested in a career in sports media? Vipe can help. Launched in 2017, our Vipe U Ambassador Program is a one-of-a-kind educational scholarship program that offers high school students a chance to gain hands-on experience in the sports media field. Vipe U also gives students a platform to build their portfolio of creative work under the guidance of Vipe's seasoned professionals. From covering games to publishing photos, writing articles, and conducting on-camera interviews, each Vipe U ambassador receives an immersive experience geared toward their interests while promoting their own school and preparing them for their future. Email info at vipemedia.com to find out more about Vipe U today. Hey, I'm senior Shelby Hayes, and you're listening to Lady Timberwolves Basketball on Vibe Live. So Michael Rose here along with our QA back at Vibe Live. That's Rosie Bagger. 27 to four, the first quarter comes to a close. Second quarter about to begin. Timberwolves have possession. Molly Lee gives it to Shelby Hayes, top of the key. 
Comes out of the high post. Moving screen, Megan Woods trying to drive to her left. She gets held up. Foul on number 32, Talia Perkins. Hope Edwards at all four points in the first quarter. Off the mark. Ball goes out. Molly Lee drives to the basket. Got pushed a little bit. Aaron ball goes out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Lady Wolves. Jumper on the way. Off the mark. Or Shelby there to clean it up. Puts it right back up and in. Still in Mall had 21 points in the first quarter. Shelby had two. Angie had two. Reese had two. Now Shelby starts things off the second quarter with the bucket. And the shot blocked is Well, better is drove the lane in front of Shelby. Shelby put her arms in the air and clean block. Megan Woods with the basketball. Isabel Peters near side on the wing. Back up top. Megan. Megan can go around the screen set by Shelby. Scoop off the glass too much. Shelby there to clean it up. She puts it back up in the lane. Shelby with back-to-back -back buckets for the Lady Wolves. It's 31 to 4. Mitchell gives it to Thompson. Thompson gets it across the half-court stripe near side. Now swing it up top. Hope Edwards. Hope with the basketball. Hope's going to go far side. Picks up her dribble. Has to give it to Thompson near side. Went one way, came back the other. A little nice move by Thompson. Good dribble. Off the back iron, no good. Mitchell gets the rebound and the spin inside. Shelby stood there like a tree planted in a forest. But for some reason, she drew foul. the foul. Cedar Marks 44, Shelby Hayes, her first. Team foul number five. 15 fouls, you hear Brad just mentioned. 642. Gia Let's Mitchell go here in the, the second quarter. Gia Mitchell at the free throw line. First free throw off the mark, no good. Free throw troubles here for the Lady Lions in the first half. Isabel Peters and Megan Woods take a seat. Angie Sacco back in the game. Sacco later along with Elaine King. Looks like we have all five starters back in. Molly, Elaine, G, Shelby, and Angie. Pass to the near side, Molly. Back to G from the wing, on the way, off the front iron, no good. Rebounded by Hope Edwards. Hope's gonna push the floor, has numbers. Goes around G, up and under, misses, no good. Ball loose, it's gonna go out of bounds. It'll stay with the Lady Lions. One, one, one! Stick it, stick it, stick it! Edwards go, will inbound go, go, underneath go, go. her own basket on the baseline, up top. Ball taken away by G. But it's a loose ball into the hands of Edwards for three. Rattles in and out, no good. Angie with the rebound. Hands it off to Gisela. Gisela pushes the floor. And with the right hand up and no good. Loose ball rebound by Shelby. She puts yeah. it up in the right hand. Hey. And that one drops. Shelby with six points here in quarter number two, 33 to five. Skip pass across Mitchell, gives it over to Talia Perkins. Perkins tries to go baseline, Elaine cuts her off at the pass. Perkins gives it up to Easley, Easley now double drive, right into the pathway of Elaine King once again. And a push foul. Yeah. Offensive oh, foul on Easley. Reese to check back in for Lady Wolves with the next whistle. Molly brings it up the floor. 33 to five is the score here at the Timberdome. Angie Sacco now over around Elaine King. Far side, G with the basketball. Into the corner, puts it on the floor. Loose ball picked up by Nelly Thompson. Up and over to Perkins. Perkins there. Angie there, thought about taking the charge, but Talia Perkins pulls up. Angie puts her hand straight in the air. Loose ball rebounded by Shelby. Shelby dribble drives into the lane, lays up the right hand off the side of the iron, no good. Rebounded by Nellie Thompson. Thompson bringing it up the floor. Cross court pass to Leah Perkins now on the far side. Gives it to oh God, Miss go, Parker go. Bradley. Bradley with the basketball now. Bradley swing it around. Nellie Thompson. On, Thompson go. with the basketball on the near side wing. Cut off at the pass. Now hands it off to Easley. Swing it around far side. There's Bradley. Bradley dribble drive. Tries to get around Angie. Puts the ball on the floor. And it's going to be off of her feet. It'll be Timberwolves basketball. Reese Prater Merrill checks in for the Lady Timberwolves. Angie Sacco. Misako will take a seat. Angie's 
by far shown such great growth since last season. Becoming a starter now and just doing a tremendous job. Shelby speaks very highly of her postmate and Angie just works the tail off. You'll hear her, you can hear her shouting on, sitting down right now, communicating even as the girls are moving the ball around. You can hear Angie being that fourth coach over there, along with Coach Ott, Coach Rowe, Coach Williams, and Coach Three-pointer in the corner, Molly Lee adds to the box score tonight. A big bucket for the point guard, and the Wolves extend, Kimber Wolves extend their lead, and a steal by Molly Lee. Molly's gonna dribble drive, lays it up with the right hand, and it's good. Molly, Molly Lee, back to back, bucket, five straight points. It's now 38 to five. Good stick to it miss right there. Three-pointer on the way for Easley off the mark, way off the mark. Rebounded underneath by Edo. Edo tries to give it on the baseline and it goes out of bounds. It'll be Timberwolves basketball. 3.44 to go here in quarter number two. The Lady Timberwolves, Cedar Park High School on top, 38 to five. A timeout on the floor. Another 30 second timeout, we'll keep it right here. Remember folks, stick around after the game, a special presentation for one of our players tonight after the game. Don't go anywhere. I'm sure Brad, we're going to have a very special, special time. So Rosie, a little overtime for us tonight. Not much, but it's going to be well worth it. So if you're able to stick around and listen, we'll do our best to give you the audio version of it. So make sure you stick around after the post game and honor one of our amazing, successful players and the accomplishments that she has put up for her career as the Cedar Park Baby Timberwolf. Again, 344 to go here in quarter number two. Michael Rose here along with Rosie Bega, our QA back at Vibe Live. Thanks to Merle Bertrand, Cedar Van Kant, Christina Weber Bertrand, all the fine folks who bring us all the efforts of Vibe Live and all the folks all over the great state of Texas and San Antonio and Houston here in Austin. And again, as you heard Kevin earlier in one of our spots, we partnered with Flow Sports. And a nice pass down low from Shelby on the baseline. Saw G cutting. G's there. G went to the make a move and Found wound up having one of the Leander Lions Bradley. literally Bradley. laying on top of her back Bradley. as she went in the air and G caught her with her back as she came almost crashing to the floor. G showing some good sportsmanship there, not letting her crash to the floor. Pass inside from the inside. Reese Prater Merrill has to track it down, swing to the far side. Molly Lee for three, another Molly one. Molly Lee. Molly Lee with eight points here in quarter number two, makes it 41 to five. 317 to go here in the second quarter. Smith Beck hands it off to Hope Edwards. Hope with the basketball. And five, oh, a travel call. That was in five seconds. That's just a violation signal. Turnover back to the Lady Wolves. 3.08 to go. To sell them all inbounded on the near side, right in front of her own bench. Lee goes to the far side, hands it off to Van Kings. Up top, Shelby high post, looking to cut. Swing it around, Reese, Reese with it. Inside, Molly Lee, and a cut inside. Shelby lost the handle. Actually got tied up, literally tied up with one of the players, stopped her feet, and spun out of it with a pivot and lays it up and in. Shelby with, with eight points here in the second quarter, eight, uh, 10 total so far, unofficially of course. Isabel, Megan, and Angie set to check in for the Lady Wolves, 2.29 to go. Hope Edwards with the basketball, 43 to five, Lady Wolves on top here, 2.22 to go in the second quarter. Hope Edwards, far side, three-pointer on the way, off the back iron, no good. Molly Lee tips it to herself. Molly's gonna take it up the floor after that rebound. G up the near, excuse me, far sideline, makes a move baseline, off the glass, double pump, and it's good. The old-fashioned three-point play coming for Gisela Mall once again. And the foul on Leander's 44, Gabby Ito, her first. And foul number seven, and one for G. at the line. Step. Step. All at once, coaches. All at once, coaches. 
I wish my brain hey, worked like 50. that. We're at 50. I really do. 50. All at once. The free throw is good. Two oh seven to go. Lady Lions with the basketball. They bring it up the floor. G takes the seat. Isabel Peters checks in. Isabel and G. Reese, Megan and Anna Miner in the basketball game. Here with a couple minutes to go in the first half. Mitchell swings around far side for the Lions. Oh, Edwards tried to make a pass easily. Gets the loose ball underneath Mitchell. Double pumps, lays it up and in. Nice post move underneath from Mitchell. Mitchell. She's got three points here in the second quarter. And a minor coming near side. Back up top, Isabel Peters inside. Low post, Angie makes a move. Spin around, gets hit on the elbow, no call. Loose ball, Angie's hustling up the court. Parker Bradley to the corner. Three on the way. It's good. That's Hope Edwards Three with the big bucket. Edwards. Edwards with seven points here tonight. Lady Lions get to double figures here in the second quarter with a minute nine to go. Isabel Peters coming near side. Gets around the screen set by Angie. Knocked loose and Nellie Thompson gets the loose ball steal. She pushes the floor with the left hand and a minor knocks it out of the air. Minor with the block shot. Less than a minute to go in the first half. Coach Reese unhappy about that. No call. Oh, look at that. Angie cleans up the loose ball. Isabel up. Peters launched a three-pointer from the corner. Angie just snatched it out of the air. She lays it up and in. Sako with four points here in the first half. 48 to 10 is the score. Layup no good. Loose ball rebounded by Sako. Sako pushes it up. Gives it to Isabel Peters. Up the floor to Megan Woods. Megan goes cross court. There's Reese Prater Merrill. She lays it up and in. Reese little mini Prater jumper Merrill. for Reese, actually. Reese had a nice little pause. Kind of hung in midair. Brought that elbow down just a little bit and then put it right off the glass and in. Seven seconds, six, five, four, three. Edwards dribble drive in the lane off the glass and it's good. And that will do it for the first half. Hope Edwards the bucket at the buzzer. There we go. Six, uh, excuse me, 50 to 12 is the score. 23 points here in the second quarter. And for the Lady Timberwolves, eight for the Lady Lions. It is halftime. We'll take a few minutes to listen, let you listen to the sounds of the, of the floor. And we'll be back in a few minutes for the third quarter. You're listening to Lady Timberwolves basketball right here on Vipe Live. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back for the second half in just a few minutes.
Hi, good evening. Um, for those of you that I don't know, I am Mrs. Cochot, and I teach adapted PE in the district. And this year at Cedar Park High School, we have our first unified PE class, and that allows students of all abilities to socialize and exercise and get to know one another both in the classroom and outside of the classroom. So our student Rami is one of our teammates and he is also on our Special Olympics team, the Leander Lasers. So nice work, Rami. Just wanted to say if any of you who are students at CPHS and are interested in being in Unified PE, please come talk to me or any of these teachers on the court or Coach Ott. We would love to have you be a part of our class and build these lifelong friendships. Unofficial scoring stats for that first half of play. First for the Lions, 33 Gia Mitchell with three points. 23 Hope Edwards leads with nine. And for Cedar Park, Reese Prater Merrill with four, and Gisako with four. Molly Lee has eight. Shelby Hayes, 10. Gisela Mall, 24. Four by quarter, Cedar Park in the first, 27 4 in the second, 23 to 8. And remember, next action for the Timberwolves is coming Tuesday afternoon at Liberty Hill. No school. So tip off 12.30, don't be thinking that's an evening game. The next home game is Tuesday, January 4th, back here in the Timberdome at 6.15 against Glenn. And be sure that you stick around after the game, you won't want to miss it. A special presentation to one of the Lady Timberwolves.
third quarter. About to begin, Michael Rose here along with Rosie Baggett. Been a great first half. 50. 50 to 12 the score. Possession error goes to the Lady Lions. Get that toned down just a bit. There we go. Ball loose, picked up. G has it, she'll push the floor. Now going to my left here from the score table. G with the left hand off the glass. Loose ball in. Yeah. There's Selby. Uh, too many hands and white jerseys grabbing that basketball. Turnover back to the Lady Lions. Hey, big domino, big domino. You got to get behind that trap. Hey, that trap. Let me update the scoreboard before Merle Bertrand texts me. Yes, Merle. Get behind it. I got you, brother. <laughs> Third quarter underway. Again, 50 to 12. Lady Lions with the basketball here to my right side now. Hope Edwards with the basketball. Nine points for Hope. In the first half. Nice pass underneath. Gia Mitchell with the bucket. Get a stop now. Let's go. Gia has, I believe that's her, let's see, sixth point. No, fifth point. Beg your pardon. Good thing I'm writing with pencil tonight, y'all. Jamal underneath gets it up. Nice shot. Okay. All kinds of updates to do here. First we go with Cedar Park. Then we give it to Leander. And there we go. 52-14. G knocks that ball out of the air. It'll go out of bounds. It'll stay with the Lady Lions. They'll inbound it on the far sideline. 6.32 to go here in the third quarter. Great broadcast underway. Again, received some messages from our friends in Tennessee, Mr. Hayes. Thank you, Larry. Appreciate your compliment and your support. As always, jump around the way, no good. G pulls it down in the lane. She's going to push the floor. Has. Oh, wow. Hope. <laughs> he can... Hope with a good hustle. Heard, heard the big fan in the stand screaming at Hope. Good hustle. Pick Hope up. gets down there, knocks the ball out of pick G's up. hands. It'll be underneath. Gianna, pick up. And stay with the lady oh, Timberwolves. G will inbound it underneath her own basket. Up top, Manji Sako with it. Sako now swinging around. G, a little jumper from the elbow. Off the mark, no good. Shelby's there. She cleans up, gets the rebound. Injury time out here. Officials call time. Remember Cedar Park Games broadcast live worldwide on the Vipe Network. VYPE Mike Rose with the call tonight as always. Send that URL to people who can't be here. www.vipelive.com. V-Y-P-E-L-I-V-E.com. He was talking to him, so I'm going to talk to mine. Can you believe they let me come here for six years? Jeez, oh, beats. Angie gets the basketball inbounds. Gives it to the jumper from the elbow is good. I'm not sure exactly what he said. One of the Leander Lions was injured on the on the underneath that got maybe caught an elbow in the forehead. She's okay, got a little helped off the sideline, so everybody's good. She'll come back in just a few minutes after she gets squared away from the training staff and coaches from Leander. Shelby with the pass and G underneath. She lays it up and in. 5.30 to go. Lady Wolves running 56 to 12. Big part in 14, see? No, I don't want to give him any points. Three-pointer on the way for Hope Edwards. Molly Lee chases down the long rebound, gets in front of Hope, takes away. Molly will jump her on the far side wing off the back iron, no good. Loose ball. It's going to go out of bounds. Lady Lions ball. <laughs> Megan Woods checks in for Angie Sacco, and Angie wanted to get a high five, so Angie chases Megan down and slaps her on the back. <laughs> And Megan says, oh, sorry. <laughs> nice pass inside. Just over the outstretched arm of G. Hope Edwards gets the loose ball. Ball tipped in the air this time. 
And it looks, oh my, good hustle there by Samantha Beck. Pass inside, gets it knocked away. Lots of loose balls. Finally, G gets the steal. G's going to push the floor up the near sideline. Has numbers. She'll take it herself off the glass. No good. Loose ball tipped into the hands of Shelby. Shelby lays it off the glass up and in. Shelby with a nice post move. Good rebound. Great positioning. And she gets another bucket for the Lady Timberwolves. Nellie Thompson over near side now. There's Hope Edwards. Gabby Edo. Edo, a tall drink of water, even taller than Shelby underneath the basket. Tall and lanky. Trying to post up, can't get there. G with the pass up the far sideline for three, all alone, knocks it down. Three, 61-14 with four to go here in the third quarter. Nelly Thompson for three off the back iron. This ball rebounded by Reese. Reese Prater Merrill, she pulls it down. She'll come up the far sideline. She'll take it herself. Gets up across the half court track, coming to the middle. Now she'll swing it far side. There's Molly Lee. Molly with the basketball. Up top, Reese. Reese coming around, gets around the screen, set by Shelby. Pass underneath. There's Hope, or excuse me, Megan Woods. She lays it up and in. Reese Prater Merrill, great, great vision. Megan Woods there with the bucket. And a timeout called. And Coach Ott. Ecstatic for that pass from Reese Prater Merrill. Reese getting some fives and she's got a little smirk on her face. Like to see that. Timeout taken on the floor. A full timeout. We'll take it with him. You're listening to Lady Timberwolves basketball right here on Vipe Live. We'll be right back. What is Vipe Live? Vipe Live is one of the largest and most respected broadcast and live stream networks in the state of Texas. Vipe Live broadcasts any sport you can think of for youngsters of any age, from Pee Wee and Pop Warner to high school, club, college, semi-pro, and beyond. We also broadcast plenty of academic, fine arts, and community-related events as well, and now as partners with Flow Sports. Email us at info at vipemedia.com to find out more. Vipe Live, we bring your teams to you. Hi, I'm Senior Elaine King, and you're listening to Vibe Live. Welcome back after that timeout taken by the Lady Lions. 3.28 to go here in quarter number three. Lady Timberwolves on top, 63-14. to 14. Stolen away by G. She's got numbers. She's Reese cutting to the basket on the right side. Pulls back. Jumper on the way. No good. Shelby gets the rebound. She pulls it down and she'll pull it way back up. Good. Reese with it. Now Reese Go. on the Go. far side. Where are we at? Pulls back. Midline. Going Gabby. inside. Megan Woods underneath and it's tied up with Gabby. Gabby Edo. And the jump ball call. Gabby, you got to react a little faster. Let's go. Possession goes to the Lady Lions. Talia Perkins inbounds it, and Hope Edwards will bring it up to court. Thirteen to two run here in the third quarter. Two forty-five to go. Tip ball in the air. Hope Edwards gets a loose ball. Dribble drive into the paint, lays it up. Rattles in and out. Megan Woods gets the rebound. She pulls it down. She'll hand it off to G. G's going to push the floor. Nice pass underneath there. Shelby one dribble, lays it up, no good. Loose ball gets the rebound and she's blocked. But she'll get the foul. Sacco and foul King check the set, set to check Peter back in. Check the set back in. One or the other. Shelby at the line to shoot two. First one's good. I missed the bucket there, so now it's 64. Get that scoreboard all situated. Shelby now for her second free throw. 231 to go in the third quarter, 64. Make that 65, 14. Sato checks in for Shelby. Shelby will take a breather. Isabel Peters, Reese Prater Merrill. Elaine King, Angie Sato, and Megan Woods in the game for the Lady Timberwolves. 230 to go in the third. Hope Edwards brings it up the floor. Dribbles slowly, gets across the half court stripe. Isabel Peters steps out to defend. Skip the other side. Now there's 
Perkins. Lee Perkins now back to Hope Edwards. Hope Edwards inside Edo. Edo with it. Back to Edwards. Edwards now. Coming back to the left. Just throwing things way down. 2-0-2 to go. Third quarter. Talia Perkins with the basketball way up top. Swinging to your side. Can't see who it is. The coach and the referee standing right in front of me. That's okay. Edwards now inside easily. Nice pass to the baseline. Edo, Edo defended nicely by Elaine King. Her pass errant. Isabel Peters takes it away and she gets the steal. So pushes it up the floor. Near side on the wing. Swinging around. Angie Sacco with it. Sacco with the basketball top of the key. Sacco now. Ball knocked out of her hands. Loose ball picked up by Talia Perkins. She'll dribble drive into the paint. Elaine King there with the block. No good. Loose ball tracked down by Megan Woods. Megan goes into the bleachers. Saves it to Isabel. Isabel will bring it up the floor. Megan comes back out of the bleachers now. Gets back into position. Reese Pater Merrill swinging it around near side. Megan Woods dribble drive in the paint. Lays it up off the glass. No good. Loose ball. Tipped around. Delane King couldn't get there. Talia Perkins comes up with a loose ball. She'll push the floor for the Lady Lions. And almost a carry. You're going to let it go. Perkins now swing it near side. Hope Edwards inside a minute. 55 seconds to go. Here in the third quarter. 65-14. Lady Wolves on top, 50 seconds, 5-0. Edo pass knocked out of the air by Elise Pedro Merrill. Edo gets the loose ball over to Perkins. Perkins with it. Now the 42 seconds. Edwards dribble drive, kicked in the corner. Baseline Thompson dribbles it off her foot. It's going to be Lady Timberwolves basketball. Great pressure, D. You could see all the Lady Lions at the same time just throw their heads up in the air and their shoulders went down in exasperation, frustration. 36 seconds to go. Isabel Peters brings it up the floor for the Lady Wolves. Cross half for set. There's Megan Woods near side on the wing. Megan now pulls it and goes down to the top of the key. Swinging around far side. Isabel inside. Angie Sacco. Sacco makes a post move. Kicks over to Reese in the corner. Back up top of Lane. Lane swings around. Isabel. Isabel with it. Far side on the wing. Skip pass. Angie high post. Angie hands it off to Megan. Megan with the left hand lays it off the glass. No good. Reese with the rebound. She puts it up and she's fouled. Eight seconds to go here in the third quarter. Lady Wolves on top, 65-14. Reese Prater Merrill Malin going to the free throw line to shoot two. Perkins, second, Sammy, second team foul. Gabby, y'all need a switch. Reese Prater Merrill at the line. Free throw on the way is good for Reese. Second one drops in. 67, 14, eight and a half seconds. Got to start the clock. Clock, clock didn't get clicked in time, so we'll try again. Eight thirty, eight point thirty, eight point three seconds to go. <laughs> well, Michael, 8.52 is what it was. <laughs> JR, Coach Romero's trying to set it back to what it was. We're going to give him point, point oh six extra seconds. Close enough, he says. Perkins inbounds it. Hope Edwards is going to let it go now. She'll pick it up at the half court stretch. Six seconds, five seconds to go into the quarter. Isabel Peters guarding her into the near side wing. Back up top, Peters. Edwards off the glass, no good. The three point desperation quarter. jumper. No good. Third quarter comes to an end. 67 14 is the score. We'll take a quick timeout. You're listening to Lady Timberwolves basketball right here on Vipe Live. We'll be right back. What is Vipe Live? Vipe Live is one of the largest and most respected broadcast and live stream networks in the state of Texas. Vipe Live broadcasts any sport you can think of for youngsters of any age, from Pee Wee and Pop Warner to high school, club, college, semi-pro, and beyond. We also broadcast plenty of academic, fine arts, and community-related events as well, and now as partners with Flow Sports. Email us at info at vipemedia.com to find out more. Vipe Live, we bring your teams to you. Hi, I'm senior Megan Woods, and you're listening to Cedar Park Girls Basketball on Vipe Live. Whoa. 
Welcome back here. Getting ready for the fourth quarter. Michael Rose along with Rosie Bega. Rosie's doing a bang up job as she always does. Appreciate her being with us tonight. And of course, this broadcast not possible without the support and the partnership of the Cedar Park Lady Timberwolves Booster Club. All the fine folks of this community coming out and helping out tonight. Fourth quarter underway, 67-14. Two points in the third quarter for the Lady Lions. 17 in the third quarter for the Lady Wolves. Lady Timberwolves, I should say. Elaine King gets a rebound on an errant shot by the Lady Lions. Molly Lee brings it up the floor. Inside pass, Shelby alone underneath gets the layup. from Elaine King. Coming up the near side, there's Beck. Samantha Beck with the basketball. Loose ball taken away. Angie Sacco tipped it out of the air. Now Molly Lee will have the handoff from Elaine King. And now she'll make the pass to the far side. There's G. G up top to Elaine. Inside underneath. There's Shelby turn around on Edo. Loose ball, no good. Shelby gets a hand on it, knocks it to the floor. Elaine picks up the loose ball. Shoots it out to Angie. Sacco swings it around to Mall. To sell it now. Double drive Good kick sale. back to Angie, swinging around to Lane King, top of the key. Now Molly Lee on the far side. Molly now to Shelby at the top of the key. Going inside, there's a lane. She's going to get a bucket, and she does. She puts it up and in. Her first score of the evening. Lady Kimball is now 69 to 14. Make that 71, because I forgot about Shelby's bucket. 71 14 is the score. Foul down low. <laughs> Foul on Cedar March 44, Shelby Hickey's her second first team foul. Shelby gets the personal right there, second team foul here in the Hope half. Edwards is alive. Hope Edwards to shoot too. Yeah. <laughs> Easily checks in. Molly Lee, Angie Sacco, Shelby Hayes check out. Reese Pedro Merrill, Isabel Peters. And Megan Woods check in. Hope Edwards at the line. Second free throw drops this time. Gets another bucket for Hope Edwards. She's the leading scorer tonight for the Lady Lions. She's got 10 of the 15. Reese over to Megan. Megan on the far side. Back up top. There's Elaine inside to Reese. Reese makes a move. Turn around Jay. Rolls off the glass, and Lane gets the kick out rebound. Nice job by Lane King. She is an amazing ball player, folks. Lane just hustling to the basket. Makes the rebound. Now she kicks it over now, top of the key. There's Megan Woods. Dribble drive, left hand. Pulls it back, gives it to Lane. Lane steps out at the high post. Swing it around now, Megan Woods. Six minutes to go here in the in the fourth quarter. Lane King, dribble drive, far side. Up top, Megan inside. Reese, Reese makes a move around Edo, Edo. It gets a hand up, but Reese goes right around her, lays it up and in. Gia Mitchell sitting in the check back in. Timeout taken on the floor. We'll take it with him. You're listening to Lady Timberwolves basketball right here on Vipe Live. We'll be right back. Interested in Vibe Campus? Vibe Campus brings our popular citywide media days right to your doorstep. As a Vibe Campus client, we will work with you to help you take advantage of our unique campus model to build a unique experience for your school. From media day photo shoots of all your athletes to game day coverage, broadcasts and live streams, video and digital content, hype videos, the Vibe U program, same day graphics, and of course your very own campus magazine, Vite Campus is truly whatever you want it to be. Email info at vitemedia.com to find out how to join Vipe Campus today. Hi, I'm senior Reese Prater Merrill, and you're listening to Vibe Live. Welcome back to the Timberdome fourth quarter. Still underway, 542 to go here in the fourth. Lady Timberwolves on top. 7315. Michael Rose here along with Rosie Bega or QA back at Vipe Live. Beck with the basketball. Nice move across the baseline, but you can hear Coach Ott saying nice rotation as the Lady Timberwolves 
doing a great job defensively. Make sure everybody's in, in check, getting in the, into their spots. Got a little hot there, I apologize for that. Looks like I'm back to where I need to be. Gia Mitchell, as I mentioned, checked back in the basketball game. She got injured a little while ago. And pass inside, easily tipped out of the air. Isabel Peters with the tip, and she'll get the steal. Brings it up the floor. Megan Woods now on the near side on the wing. Megan looking to go, skip pass to the high post. Little give and go, Isabel Peters lays it up and in. Isabel Peters, the sophomore, makes her presence known here at the Timberdome tonight. 75-15, Lady Wolves on top by 66-0. For those of you who don't want to do quick math, I got your back. Nelly Thompson, pass over to Edwards. Edwards gets a loose ball as it's tipped by Isabel, but into the hands of the Lions. Nelly Thompson for three, far side wing. In and out. Easily gets the rebound. She puts it up, no good. Mitchell gets the rebound. Her shot blocked by Reese Prater Merrill. Loose ball picked up by Isabel Peters. She'll make a move, spins around. Nice job by Isabel, getting more and more comfortable playing with the basketball, moving the basketball, leading the charge, running the point off the bench. Nice handoff from Elaine King to Isabel Peters. Nice jumper from the far side wing. Megan Woods thought it was going in, so it's just going to run back, but it goes off her shin as it went in and out and onto the floor, out of bounds. Lady Lions basketball, 4.05 to go here in the fourth quarter. Lady Wolves on top, 75-15. Edwards with it, near side on the wing. Isabel Peters pops up, pushes her back a little bit, makes her go back, I should say. Doesn't literally push her. Swing around far side. Thompson now on the other side. There's Beck with the basketball. Samantha Beck inside. Gia Mitchell, high post, makes a move. Up and under. Oh, nice move off the iron, no good. Thompson with the rebound. She puts it high in the air, goes off the back iron. Loose ball rebounded by Isabel Peters. 3.33 to go here in the fourth quarter. He's Peter Merrill on the near side wing. Up top, there's Isabel, makes a move, gets around the screen, set by Elaine. Now back the other way, here comes Reese. Reese, kick inside Elaine, out to Isabel for three, just short. Reese ball picked up on the missed bucket by Isabel Peters by Hope Edwards, kick into the corner. Samantha Beck, jumper on the way, loose ball, no good. A mass of humanity hits the floor. And a minor in Gia Mitchell, two number 33s. Go to the floor, no call, loose ball. It'll be the Lady Lions basketball underneath. As it went off of the Lady Wolves. Lady Timberwolves up again, 75-15 with 3.05 to go here in the fourth quarter. <laughs> Hope Edwards with it. Swing it around now near side, Samantha Beck. Beck with the basketball. Gabby Edo sets the screen, but Samantha Beck doesn't take her up on her offer. Hope Edwards, top of the key, now gives it over to Samantha Beck. Inside, 2.40 to go here in the game. Nice move with the left hand by Samantha Beck. She's fouled, and she'll go to the line. Oh, never mind. It's offensive. Nice job by the ladies inside. Lady Timberwolves practice taking charges all the dadgum time, and they have it down to a science. Another foul on the floor, and it's Lady Timberwolves basketball. Isabel brings it up the floor. She gives it to Anna. Anna inside. Elaine. Elaine at the high post. Gives it to Reese. Reese now swinging around to Anna Miner on the far side wing. Anna with it. Up top, Reese oh, Pater Merrill. Oh, around the screen set by Elaine King. Reese Pater Merrill on the near side wing. Up top, Anna Miner. Anna pulls it down. Now swings it to Reese. Reese for three. Off the back iron. No good. Reese ball tipped in the air. Megan Woods gets it. Now she scoops. Plays it up. No good. Elaine comes in. She. Spots it into the field of play, into the face of Anna Miner. Anna puts it up off the glass, no good. Loose ball, fouled by the Lady Lions. Hope Edwards makes a move. She's fouled, she'll go over the line. <laughs> Hope Edwards has the loudest fan in the stands. Do you have any Dr. Pepper, by the way? No, next time. I know that was weird, but I had to ask. Sorry. That was just random. But I'm like, hey, Dr. Pepper sounds good, and you have to learn the trick. So. 202 to go here. There you go, folks. Inside the mind of Michael once again. This cat is strange. I am. It's okay. Hope Edwards' free throw is good. Next one on the way. That one rattles in and out. Megan with the rebound, and Lady Wolves off and running. Oops. 
Sorry, I had to change the scoreboard for a long time. Earl Bertrand is, must be calling his own game. Megan Woods for three from the near side wing. Misses outlet passes. Hope Edwards. Hope lays off the glass. No good. Nice D by Megan Woods. Puts the pressure on her. Hope had to adjust her shot. And a minor with the left hand lays it off the glass. No good. Loose ball rebounded by Perkins. Talia yeah. Perkins pushes the floor. Alyssa Flanagan in the game. And she, she being to it. Talia Perkins gets followed by Reese Pater Merrill and so Talia Perkins will go to the free throw line to shoot two. Talia Perkins is alive. 75-16, 120 to go. Perkins' first free throw is good. Second free throw on the way for Perkins. That one, nice shooter's touch. That drops in as well. 75, 18, a minute 20 to go. Isabel Peters will bring it up the floor. Megan Woods guarded by Edo. Swings around Isabel Peters at the far side wing. Isabel coming near side. Woods with it. Skip pass down low on the baseline. There's East Peter Merrill. Merrill with it, looking to go inside. There's Megan Woods. Megan. Makes a jump, using those volleyball ups to get there. Outlet pass to Edwards on the stolen ball by the Lions. Edwards with it, now pulls it back, guarded by Isabel Peters. Isabel brings her to her right, jumper on the way off the glass. No good, nice read there by Hope Edwards. Can't come up with it. Coach Johnson says no shot, just swing it around. Anna Miner with the basketball. Gives it to Reese. Reese looking for skip pass inside. There's Isabel. Get out of the lane. There you go. Oh, Alice, sorry, Alyssa almost had a bucket. Outlet pass. There's Nellie Thompson. She lays it up. No good. Loose ball rebounded by Megan Woods. Alyssa Flanagan had a good look at the basket. Just couldn't pull the trigger on that one. Everyone wanted her to knock it down. All uh, our friend Ainsley from last year. And they're going to let it go. And the final score and from the Timberdome. The Lady Timberwolves are 2-0 in district play. They defeat the Lady Lions of Leander High School 75 to 18. The final score. We got a special presentation coming up, folks. So we're just going to keep it right here. I don't know if we'll be able to get a chance to talk to any of the players. We're definitely going to try, so just stick around. We're going to let these ladies take a quick breather. We'll take a quick break. Come right back for the presentation. You're listening to Lady Timberwolves basketball right here on Vibe Live. Final score. 75 18. We'll be right back for a special presentation right after this. What is Vipe Live? Vipe Live is one of the largest and most respected broadcast and live stream networks in the state of Texas. Vipe Live broadcasts any sport you can think of for youngsters of any age, from Pee Wee and Pop Warner to high school, club, college, semi pro, and beyond. We also broadcast plenty of academic, fine arts, and community-related events as well, and now as partners with Flow Sports. Email us at info at vipemedia.com to find out more. Vipe Live, we bring your teams to you. Hey, high schoolers. Are you interested in a career in sports media? Vipe can help. Launched in 2017, our Vipe U Ambassador Program is a one-of-a-kind educational scholarship program that offers high school students a chance to gain hands-on experience in the sports media field. Vipe U also gives students a platform to build their portfolio of creative work under the guidance of Vipe's seasoned professionals. From covering games to publishing photos, writing articles, and conducting on-camera interviews, each Vipe U ambassador receives an immersive experience geared toward their interests while promoting their own school and preparing them for their future. Email info at vipemedia.com to find out more about Vipe U today. So, uh, we have a Welcome very back. special night Coach tonight. Coach Donnie. I want to make sure we had an opportunity to do this because our schedule uh, put us on the road uh, for so long. And during that process, we've come across some milestones that uh, we didn't get a chance to share with everybody here. And it's important that we do that to celebrate these young athletes. 
that work so hard to aspire to be where they're at. Uh, and today, we have an accomplishment by one of our seniors, Shelby Hayes. Uh, Shelby has been a four-year letterman for us, and uh, she has started ever since her freshman year, and she has uh, just blossomed over these four years. And while we were at the McDonald's tournament, uh, she hit her thousandth point uh, for her career, and after that, shortly after that, she accomplished her 500th rebound as well. So we want to take the time today to honor Shelby. And as many of you know that are in this sports world, scoring a thousand points in anything uh, in basketball is a huge accomplishment. Uh, so we want to make sure that we honor Shelby with a couple things. Number one, we've got a basketball here made that uh, has her accomplishments written on it. And we got a nice little t-shirt here. The thousand point, five hundred rebounds to honor that. We want to make sure that after I break them out of the locker room, I'd love for some of y'all to stay around and get a chance to talk to Shelby, uh, congratulate her, because this is just like I said, such a huge honor. Uh, and uh, we just want to make sure that you guys uh, have a chance to say congratulations to Shelby. Thank you guys for showing up. I hope that we put a good show on for you tonight. I really do appreciate all of you being here. And uh, we'll have another celebration coming up. We have some more milestones that will be coming along this year. So please come out to these home games and check them out. Thank you guys so much for everything. There he was, Coach Donnie Ott. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, hang on. We can't end this celebration. I got to put somebody on the spot. Shelby's going to say a few words. I love when Shelby gets the mic. Shelby can talk, and she's just like me. She's got good work. Well, I think I do sometimes. But Shelby, I'm going to give Shelby a minute to talk to you guys about this accomplishment as well, and thank you guys for being here. Hey, I just want to thank every one of y'all for coming out and supporting us and supporting me and the team. You know, this wouldn't be possible without the amazing girls that I have beside me. And it's just an honor to play for such an amazing program. And I'm so lucky to, part of, to be a part of this and join the 1,000 Point Club and the 500 Rebound Club. So thank y'all. Yeah. Hopefully we're going to get a chance to talk to Shelby. Mike might, might come over and chat with us. We'll see if I can get Shelby or at least somebody else. Final unofficial point totals for tonight. Score by quarters in the first, Cedar Park 27-4. In the second, 23-8. In the third, 17-6. In the fourth, 8-4. All right, Shelby just gave me a, just a, a couple seconds. She's getting the picture taken from Mama. Led with 11 for Cedar Park. Elaine King with two. Isabel Mama Sacco is over there, Lena, taking pictures with Angie Sacco and with Shelby. Molly Lee Postmates. With eight, Reese Prager Merrill with eight. Shelby Hayes with 18, G Ball with 31. Yeah, she's coming. Also, there's yeah, Coach Shot just said, hey, let me get a uh, chance to talk with her. Shelby's accomplishment before you go. That's it for tonight from the Timberdome. Thanks for coming out. Be sure to pick up any trash around you and place in the receptacles in the concourse. Like, everyone just, just hum the Jeopardy theme. She'll be coming. She'll be coming. She'll be coming. She'll be coming. Take on Glenn. Hopefully that level is going to be good for Shelby and Rosie. Just be be ready to let me know if we need to turn Shelby up or down when she gets here. I'll let you know, folks, when Shelby's coming. She's taking pictures of all kinds of people, and I can't blame her. So hopefully, hopefully she can come and chat with us, getting hugs. Who do you want? Shelby. Shelby. All right, here comes the lady that's being celebrated. Thank you. Sorry, that's sorry. okay. No, no, you can push it right to your mouth if you can. Gotcha. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right, cool. Hey, congratulations. What an amazing game. G comes out with 20-some points the first quarter. You are playing your game, posting up. There's a lot of bigs down there yeah. and all kinds of things going on. Then second quarter comes around, and ball comes into you. And it, this team, you know better than anyone being here four years. Everybody gets everybody gets the ball. Everybody does their part. What does that feel like for you from your vantage point in the paint or anywhere on the floor? Yeah, you know, I mean, everyone's a threat. And so 
that's when things open up. So that's, you know, when G's shooting really well from the outside, and we have girls like Molly shooting well from the outside, Reese, you know, our guards, Megan. And then that allows the paint to open up. And for me and Elaine and Angie to get those post-ups inside and just allows everyone to eat and everyone to work. So That's beautiful. What What is this like? A little bit of a slow start against Marble Falls, just kind of getting your rhythm after a couple of uh, maybe a week or so off of not really any competition. But you're still getting hammered down there. Not just you, but everybody's yeah. getting hammered down low. What's a, what is that like for you to have to overcome not only just – the, the physical presence of the team, but actually taking the beating. Yeah, you know, it's just an adjustment. And, you know, refs aren't going to call everything. And we know that, so we just have to go up hard and aggressive, and that allows for rebounding. we got to rebound. And that's a big preface. We write that on our goals, for our goals for every game, is to rebound. And, you know, you can hear Coach Brewer. She's yelling at, hey, y'all are losing, like, 2-1, to one, or, hey, y'all are winning 3-1. to one. Keep up the board. So that's a big part of what we do. And so... Yeah, when things aren't going our way, rebounding. Nice. We just heard from you about it's not possible without this team, and you've been a part of this program since your freshman year. Yeah. You're about to be a freshman again, but you got to get through this senior season. Yeah. Speak to your accolades. 1,000 points, 1,000-plus points now, yeah. and over 500 rebounds. You guys just, just mentioned I set goals all the time. What kind of goals did you set for yourself, and how does this feel? Yeah, I know. You know, this was one of my goals, that and rebounding. Uh, being a post, rebounds are, are everything, and so are, you know, getting getting – points inside and so yeah these were two of main goals for me and being able to accomplish them is amazing and the next goal is to win a second state championship so I'm ready for that exactly what well, and I don't mean to it, it got to speak of the past to talk about the present yeah. I've been here six seasons I've seen you as a freshman I watched this young lady come in and play with Nicole Leff who was a started as a freshman as well and you had someone very powerful to learn from and play with for a year what, and then to be here now as a leader, talk about the growth you've seen and experienced from being the freshman to the senior, just real fast, if you don't mind. Yeah, you know, starting, you know, being a freshman, coming in, learning new stuff. It's great to have, you know, people around me who I can lean on and grow from. And so my freshman year, I got to develop and then become more of like a, a leader my sophomore and junior year so you know you learn a lot as you go through these seasons and from great leaders like Sarai and Elisa right. so you know I just learned a lot from them and that grew my game so well it's been phenomenal to watch you your dad just sent me a message to say to tell you that he says hello <laughs> so you better say hi back hey dad there you go <laughs> and any shout out to anyone else and of course your teammates are here with you I'll let you go back shout and celebrate shout out to my teammates yeah, yeah. post yeah. gang post gang over here <laughs> Congratulations, Shelby. Thank you for stopping by. Go celebrate with your teammates, and we'll see you on Tuesday. Shelby Hayes, senior captain, senior leader, 500 rebounds, over 1,000 points. The Lady Timberwolves are victorious tonight. Final score here from the Timberwolves. Timberdome, once again, Lady Timberwolves take it to the line. 75-18 is the final. Just got goosebumps, y'all. Got a lot of energy. Angels watching over us. Thank you so much for being a part of this broadcast tonight. Thank you to the Cedar Park Lady Timberwolves Booster Club, Coach Ott. Everybody involved here at this program. Thank you to the players. Nice job. Congratulations, ladies. Thank you, Sina Ben Kent. Thank you, Mel Bertrand, Christina, everybody involved with Vibe Live. And, of course, Rosie Bega, thank you for hanging out with us a little bit longer tonight. I'll see you on Tuesday afternoon, 1230 tip-off in Liberty Hill. Game three of the district play underway. Have a wonderful weekend, y'all. And, as always, go Lady Wolves.